Okay, so we're simplifying expressions with fractions, okay? Again, we're trying to solve for x in this question. We need to isolate our x, okay? So actually, I shouldn't say simplify. I should say solve expressions with fractions. Anyways, the quickest way to simplify this will be actually to move our positive 7 to the other side of the equation, okay? Remember, when trying to isolate, we really only want the variable by itself. So the very first step, because there's technically two terms, remember we talked about either a positive or negative sign uh, separating terms. We have our first term and our second term. Well, I'm going to move the other term to the other side of the equation, so I'm left with what can be considered one term right now. When I move the 7 to the other side of the equation, what happens? What's it going to become? Go ahead, anyone. Yeah, essentially we're going to get a negative uh, 7 on the other side. Now, I'll quickly go over what's really happening. Really what we're doing there is we're creating zeros, it's called. I'm subtracting 7 from this side and 7 from this side. Well, what is positive 7 minus 7? 0. So I'd be adding 0. Does that make a difference if I add 0 to anything? No. 0 doesn't change that term, okay? So really what we're doing is creating a 0. But we skip that step of writing it in both sides, and we just call it subtracting by 7 on the other side, okay? That's called creating a 0. What is 9 subtract 7? Mm -hmm. Good. So we're left with x divided by 2 is equal to 2. Okay. How can I now isolate that x? Yeah, put the 2 on the other side. Okay. Now, again, when we go and put it to the other side, you guys would say it's multiplying. We use the opposite sign. But again, instead of creating a 0, we only create zeros with adding and subtracting. We're actually creating a 1. And I'm going to quickly show you how, what we're doing here. When I mean creating a 1. Really what we're doing is multiplying both sides by 2. Remember we subtracted both sides by 7. Whatever you do to one side of an equation, you must do to the other. Okay, in order to keep it balanced. Well, what we're doing here is we're multiplying this by 2. And technically we're multiplying this by 2. Okay, so really what this is going to read, I'm not going to write it in. This is all going to disappear after. So we get 2x divided by 2. Well, what is 2 divided by 2? 1. And I'm going to be left with... 1x, well, do I need to write 1x? No, it's essentially just an x. So it looks like it's canceling out, but really what we're doing is creating a 1 beside it. That's the idea of what's happening, okay? So, again, we bring it to the other side. We get x is equal to 2 multiplied by 2. x is going to be what? 4. Simple question, okay. Now, another way we could have gone about solving this, okay? Uh, we'll call this uh, solution 2. Same question. Okay. Sometimes to get rid of a fraction, the easiest thing to do is multiply by a common number on the bottom or the denominator, okay? So in this case, we have 2, okay? And because we want to create a 1, just like we had done over here, I'm going to multiply this entire equation by the number 2, okay? And essentially what that means is I have to multiply every single term in this equation on the left side and on the right side by 2. So I'm going to be multiplying 9 by 2, 7 by 2, and x by 2. When we do that, we're going to be left with 2x divided by 2 plus 14 plus, sorry, equals 18. Okay. What's 2x divided by 2 going to become? x. We just talked about that, right? x plus 14 is equal to 18. And then again, we're trying to isolate for x. So we move that 14 to the other side of the equation. It becomes negative. x equals 4. Either acceptable. Uh, we could have gone about this a third way of turning everything into a fraction, but that's far more complicated. So I'm going to keep this as simple as possible. Okay? These will be the simplest ways to probably solve this equation. 